So here are some concept check questions that you can um, you can go through yourself. So go ahead and pause the screen and do them first. Uh, I'm going to give you the answer uh, and check the answer afterwards. Um, so which of the following blood vessels carry blood away from the heart? Uh, the answer would be artery, A for away. Which of the following best describe the human cardiovascular system? Uh, the answer would be closed, right? two circuit. Closed means within the blood vessel, two circuits uh, we drew that out uh, earlier, right? It goes to the lungs, return to the heart, and then it goes to the body one more time. Which of the following blood vessel supplies blood to the lungs? Um, so that would be the pulmonary, right? Reno is to the kidneys, hepatic is to the liver, and carotid is to the head. The correct answer is pulmonary. Which of the following layer makes up the muscle of the heart? That would be the myocardium. Myo means muscle, right? Um, the endocardium is where the blood uh, will be in direct contact with. The epicardium is the layer that is going to be continuous with the visceral pericardium. So now we are going to look at the structure of the heart, right? Uh, um, let's uh, start with something simple, right? The human heart is a double pump uh, that is separated into two halves, right? We have the, the, the right half and the left half. Typically speaking, the right half of the heart will be carrying oxygen poor blood. So that's what these blue blue uh, uh, color represent, right? We um, use blue to represent uh, oxygen poor blood oxygen poor blood and uh, on the left side right we have the oxygen rich blood so the top uh, parts of the heart the two top two chambers of the heart uh, we call them the right atrium and the left atrium and the plural of atrium is actually uh, atria right so you have two atria on the top and you have two ventricles at the bottom the right ventricle and the left ventricle since the blood on the right is oxygen poor and the blood on the left is oxygen rich you don't want to be mixing them together right otherwise you're going to be uh, distributing uh, oxygen uh, uh, oxygenated blood um, uh, and deoxygenated blood that have been uh, mixed together throughout the body that will reduce your oxygen content right so we don't we don't want that we want to separate um, the two halves uh, with a wall and this muscular wall is what we call a septum Uh, now we are going to uh, label the heart diagram in the uh, study guide. Uh, so if you haven't already, please go download a copy of the study guide uh, and we will uh, label it together. Um, over here, we are looking at uh, a heart that has been cut open with uh, coronal playing uh, or frontal playing. Right? So it separates into front and back. Uh, and you can see there are four uh, chambers here. Right? So let's start, with, uh, let's start with this one. This is going to be the right atrium. Right atrium. And I'm going to use um, blue to represent oxygen poor blood and red to represent oxygen rich blood. So number four here is the right atrium. Okay. Um, so the blood from the uh, uh, right atrium uh, actually um, is co collected by um, these two veins. Um, one at the top uh, over here that collects blood from the uh, top one third of the body roughly. And uh, we have another one here that's going to be collecting blood from the bottom two-thirds of the body. Um, and the one on the top here is what we call the superior. Superior means on top, right? Superior vena, vena cava. And um, the one here at the bottom is called the inferior, inferior vena cava. Okay. Um, so this one is going to drain the blood uh, into the right atrium. You can kind of see the opening here, right? That, that's where the blood's going to be uh, going into the right atrium. And then you can kind of see the opening of the inferior vena cava here as well. Uh, and that's going to be going in there like that. Um, so from the right atrium, the blood is going to go down to number seven here. Number seven is your right ventricle. Right ventricle. All right. Um, so the blood will get a, a squeeze from the right ventricle uh, where it would then enter this uh, blood vessel. Right. So this one 
is going to take the blood to your uh, lungs, right? So it branches uh, into the, the left here and it branches to the right um, here. Remember, left and right are kind of opposite to uh, to what you think because we are looking at the heart from the front, right? So this uh, blood vessel here, um, number number 10, well, this blood vessel is going to split into number 10 and number 2. Right? Uh, it's called a pulmonary, pulmonary artery. Uh, it's an artery because it's going to be taking the blood um, away from the heart, right? And uh, in this case, number 10 here is going to be the left, left pulmonary, pulmonary artery, okay? And it's going to be taking the blood uh, to to the left lung, left, left lung, all right? Uh, and on the other side here, this is going to be the right pulmonary artery. Again, you should be labeling this uh, uh, along with me. All right? Make sure you get the worksheet um, and do it together with me. So this is going to take the blood to the right lung. Okay. So at the lungs, um, you are going to be picking up oxygen. You're going to be releasing carbon dioxide. So when the blood comes back um, through number three here, Right, as well as number 12 here, they will now be oxygenated. Right, so now I'm going to be using the red color. And these vessels will carry the oxygenated blood back to the heart uh, from the lungs. So this would be called the right pulmonary, right pulmonary vein. Okay, it's going to go back to the heart. And over here, over here, we are going to have the left pulmonary vein. Right. So both of these veins, right, returning the blood uh, from the lungs to the heart, they are going to drain into uh, number 11. Okay. So sorry, this one here, uh, the left pulmonary vein should be number 12 right here. Okay. Uh, and number 11 is pointing at this chamber and that would be that would be the left atrium okay so the blood is now full of oxygen right um, now from the right uh, from the left atrium you're gonna take that very rich oxygen blood down to number 16 All right number 16 is going to be the left ventricle left ventricle and from there you're going to give it a squeeze so that you can take the blood uh, throughout your body okay, take the blood throughout the body uh, and this is one of the biggest artery uh, in the body we call that the aorta okay so the blood's going to go up here right it's going to make a turn um, and the blood is going to actually go up to through these three vessels. So one of them is going to supply blood to the right half of the body, the, the, the right arm rather. Uh, one's going to go to the left arm and then this one's going to go up and form the carotid artery uh, that will be sending blood to your brain. Okay, uh, We uh, can see that the aorta actually arches back so this is going to go behind the heart and eventually it's going to come down uh, like that. Right? So I'm going to add it a little bit of a vessel here. This is a continuation of the aorta and that's gonna go through your diaphragm. Right? If I draw the diaphragm here, this is gonna be a diaphragm. Right, it's gonna go through that and it's gonna supply blood to your abdominal uh, uh, region. Okay? So more on that later on. Uh, this is going to be the abdominal, abdominal aorta. Um, so of course we want to separate the blood on the right from the blood on the left because we don't want to mix the oxygenated blood with oxygenated blood. Um, that's why we have the wall here, number 15, that separates them. We call that the septum. Okay. So there are other labels that, um, uh, that are missing right now and we are actually going to come back to it uh, later on. Now back to the pipe 
PowerPoint slide. Um, these uh, descriptions are basically what I have been telling you as we were labeling the diagram. So I'm not going to read it to you. You can go through it yourself. Um, now, we, we know that we have a two-circuit circulatory system, right? So let's go back to that diagram uh, that we drew earlier, if you still have it. Um, let me just find it over here, right? So this this is the two-circuit circulatory uh, system right, of the human heart as opposed to one circuit. So um, the top circuit here, right, the, the path where you take the blood from the heart to the lungs and back, right, we actually call this the pulmonary circuit. Pulmonary, pulmonary circuit, right? So now we know in order to take the blood from the heart to the lungs, we would go through the pulmonary pulmonary artery which is going to be blue uh, blue blood right oxygen poor and then after going through the lungs it's going to come back to the heart through the pulmonary veins so red blood to represent high oxygen so that's the pulmonary circuit right the purpose of the pulmonary circuit is to take the blood to the lungs so that you can pick up oxygen and at the bottom here we have the uh, other circuit right taking the blood through, uh, from the heart throughout the body. This is going to be called the systemic circuit. Systemic means body, right? So um, from the heart, we are going to send the oxygen-rich blood through the aorta. And then at the body, you're going to be you know, releasing the oxygen, picking up the carbon dioxide. Then it's going to be returning to the heart through the vena cava, right? The inferior vena cava and the superior vena cava. The plural for vena cava is vena cavi. Okay, so that's going to go back to the heart, and then you will have another cycle. All right, so one circuit, pulmonary, second circuit, systemic circuit. Uh, so together they make up the two circuit circulatory system. Uh, and that's what this description uh, is talking about. Right. You can kind of see it more clearly uh, in this uh, in this picture, right? Uh, you know, starting with the right atrium here, um, the blood is going to go to the right ventricle, right, and then to the lungs, right? Both lungs, where it turns from blue to red. Right? The blood is, of course, not actually blue, right? We just kind of labeling it, right? Um, oxygenated blood are bright red, uh, whereas deoxygenated blood are kind of like brick red, right? Um, if you ever buy ground beef from the supermarket, right, the out, outside is usually kind of like a bright red color, but when you uh, uh, break it apart and look at the inside, right, because it's not exposed to the air as much, um, it's going to be a darker color um, because it's deoxygenated, right? So then the blood is going to go back to the left side where the left ventricle will pump it through all the body. So these uh, capillaries networks represent various uh, tissue right in the body. Uh, this would be taking the blood to the to the brain, uh, and then uh, it will become blue afterwards, and then it will return to the heart through the superior vena cava. Um, here we have various blood vessels going to the kidneys, for example, right the renal artery, uh, going to the legs, and eventually they all return to the heart through the inferior vena cava. So there is a similar um, uh, diagram in the uh, in the worksheet. Uh, that you can try the label, right? This one, um, definitely give it a try, right? Uh, color code them, uh, and um, it'll help you with uh, with the understanding uh, of what's going on. Within the hearts, there are these heart valves that make sure the blood is going to be going in a, in a single direction. Right? They kind of prevent the blood from going backwards. Right? We want to uh, prevent uh, turbulent flow. We want to prevent the mixing of blood. We just want to keep everything going forward. Um, so there are four heart valves in the in the heart in the human heart. Um, two of them are what we call the AV valves, which stands for atrial ventricular valves. So they are located. Uh, between the atrium and the ventricle on each side, uh, and we have two semilunar valves. Right, we call them uh, uh, half moons. Right, they look like half moons. The AV valves, uh, the one that you found on the right side of the heart, uh, we call that the tricuspid valve because it has uh, three flaps um, uh, that makes up the, the valves. And on the left side, uh, we have the bicuspid valve, um, or sometimes it's called a mitral valve, depending on you know where you read it. Uh, and this one has two flaps. So let's take a look at our diagram. 
uh, the one that we uh, um, were labeling earlier. Um, over here, right, we can see uh, number six, right, number six is pointing at the uh, one of the two AV valves, and this one is on the right side, um, so we call that the tricuspid, tricuspid valve, okay? Uh, whereas on the left side, number 14 is pointing at this one with two flaps, uh, this would be the bicuspid, bicuspid valve. Okay, so I kind of use uh, the same color uh, because they belong to the same category, um, AV, AV valves. All right, so the function of the AV valves is basically to prevent the blood from going back to your atrium. Right? When your ventricles contract, they will close uh, and the blood will only be able to go forward and not backwards. Uh, we also have the second set. Uh, the semilunar valves, right? so I'm going to use orange, orange for semi, semilunar valves. And um, over here, the uh, number five is pointing at the semilunar valve that is guarding the uh, opening of your pul pulmonary artery. Uh, and this one is called the pulmonary valve. Right? So pulmonary valve prevents blood from going back to the right ventricle. Uh, and over here, number 13, that is the aortic valve. And that prevents blood from going back into your left ventricle. Okay. Um, so back to the slide for a second. Right? Um, you can see um, the pulmonary valve, right? the description for it, as well as for the aortic valve. So make sure you go through that uh, yourself. Um, here it shows um, the heart uh, being cut open with a transverse plane, right? so cutting it into top and bottom. Uh, and we can see the tricuspid valve here, right? So three flaps, one, two, three, and the bicuspid valve on the left, two flaps. And these are the semilunar. So what happens is when the AV valves are open, right, and they would open at the same time, uh, the semilunar valves would be closed, right? So what's happening during this time is, um, your atria will be contracting and so the blood will be moving from the right uh, atrium down into the right ventricle and at the same time on the left side the blood will be going from the left atrium down to the left ventricle so you don't you don't, you don't want the blood to to move on to the aorta or the pulmon pulmonary arteries just yet you want the ventricles to be completely filled up before they go forward, which is why you need to close off the entrance to the aorta and the pulmonary valve. When the uh, ventricles are completely filled up, um, then it's time for the ventricles to squeeze. And when the ventricles squeeze, um, the blood will go through the aorta, right, as on the on the left side, and it will go through the pulmonary vein uh, artery on the on the right side. So you gotta open the semilunar valves, and you don't want the blood to be squirting back to your uh, atrium. Um, so you have to close the uh, uh, AV valves. So the point is, uh, the AV valves will close and open at the same time as each other, but uh, it will be out of sync uh, with the semilunar valves. Uh, let's try to uh, write this out um, uh, together uh, uh, on, a, on a separate note, um, just to so that we are kind of clear uh, about what's going on with uh, with the blood flow. All right, so uh, I'm going to title this note uh, "Blood Flow." So if we were to follow a drop of blood, right, uh, what what is it going to pass through? So we will, uh, I mean, it's a cycle, right? So technically, there is no beginning and no end. But um, typically, most textbooks would start um, with the superior and inferior vena cava. Okay, so again, the plural, because we have two of them, uh, is vena cavi. Uh, from there, uh, they would go into the right atrium. And from the right atrium, it would go into the right ventricle. So if you could, you know, copy this with me, uh, uh, that would be that would be good. Now, uh, separating the right atrium and the right ventricle, uh, we have a tricuspid, tricuspid valve, right? That separates them. 
uh, three flaps. From the right ventricle, we are going to pump the blood to the pulmonary pulmonary artery and guarding the entrance to the pulmonary artery is going to be your pulmonary pulmonary valve yeah. so from the uh, pulmonary artery we will take the blood to the lungs and then from the lungs we will be returning to the heart through the pulmonary pulmonary vein Pulmonary vein will take the blood to the left atrium and from there it's going to go into the left ventricle. Okay. Uh, so separating the left atrium and the left ventricle would be the bicuspid, bicuspid valve. Okay. And again bicuspid and tricuspid is a pair, right? They are your AV valves. They will open and close this together. Um, from the left ventricle, we will pump the oxygen-rich blood to the aorta, which distributes it throughout the body, uh, and then it will go back to the heart through the vena cava. Uh, and guarding the entrance to the aorta would be the aortic valve. So aortic valve and pulmonary valve, they are the same category, uh, semilunar, semilunar valve. Okay, and just to finish up, right, let's uh, circle them uh, with the right color. So superior vena cava, inferior vena cava, that's oxygen poor, oxygen poor, oxygen poor, oxygen poor. And then at the lungs, it will turn from oxygen poor to oxygen rich. Right, because you're picking up oxygen, right? So this here uh, is going to be the pulmonary circuit. And then the pulmonary veins is going to carry the oxygen-rich blood back to the heart, going through all these structures. And then the aorta will take the oxygenated blood and uh, uh, send it throughout the body, where it will turn from oxygenated back to oxygen poor. Okay, so this bottom here, that would be the systemic circuit. Right? So the pulmonary circuit and the systemic circuit makes up the two circuit circulatory system. So this is kind of a use, useful diagram because um, I could ask you right on the quiz, uh, what is the function of the tricuspid valve? All you have to do is look at what's in front of it. Right? So the tricuspid valve prevents backflow of blood to the right atrium. The aortic valve would prevent uh, backflow of blood to the left ventricle. Right? Uh, I could also ask you which of the following vessel is going to be uh, carrying oxygen poor blood. Right? So it's anything in blue. Right? Carrying oxygen rich blood would be anything in pink.